Hello friends, I am Saurav. Let's have a look at another simple problem today which is how to check if a number can be expressed as x raised to power y. So the problem statement is given a positive integer find if it can be expressed by integers x and y as x raised to y where y is greater than 1 and s is greater than 0. Let's take some examples to understand the problem. Consider the number 125. Since 125 can be expressed as x raised to y where x is 5 and y is 3 so we return true. Now consider the number 120. Since 120 cannot be expressed as x raised to y for any integers x greater than 0 and y greater than 1, so we return false. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for solving this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. Initialize factor to 2. Check if number is divisible by factor. If yes, then keep on dividing the number by factor till it is divisible by factor. After step 2, if we are left with number equal to 1, then number can be represented as power of factor. So return true. Else increment factor by 1. Repeat steps 2 and 3 till factor is less than or equal to square root of number. If no such factor is found, then return false. Why are we looking at the factors of number only up to square root of number? Let us try to understand this. We want to find integers x and y, y greater than 1, such that x raised to y equal to given number a. That is for any x if x square equal to a or x cube equal to a or x raised to y equal to a for some integer y return true. Can we have upper limit on value of x from above condition? Let's find out. Now we know that square root of a multiplied by its square root of a is a. Then for any number x greater than square root of a, x square will always be greater than a. Now as x square is greater than a, x cube will be greater than a. Similarly, x raised to 4 will be greater than a. That is, any other power of x will also be greater than a. So the upper limit on value of x is square root of a. Let's take one example to understand and visualize the algorithm. Consider the given number as 100, we initialize factor to 2. On repeated division by 2, the number 100 first get reduced to 50 and then to 25. Since the number 25 is not divisible by 2 any further and the number is not reduced to 1, we increment factor to 3. Let's move on to next iteration of the algorithm. Now the factor is 3. Since number is not divisible by 3, we increment factor to 4. And we move on to next iteration. Now factor is 4. On repeated division by 4, the number 100 gets reduced to 25. Since the number 25 is not divisible by 4 any further, and the number is not reduced to 1, we increment factor to 5. We move on to next iteration. Now factor is 5. On repeated division by 5, the number 100 first get reduced to 20 and then to 4. Since the number 4 is not divisible by 5 anymore and the number is not reduced to 1, we increment factor to 6. We move on to next iteration. Now the factor is 6. Since the number 100 is not divisible by 6, we increment factor to 7 and we move on to next iteration. Similarly, as 100 is not divisible by 7, 8 and 9 also, we increment factor to 10. Now on repeated division by 10, 100 gets reduced to 10 and then to 1. As the number is not divisible by 10 any further and is reduced to 1, hence 100 is a power of 10. Hence 100 can be expressed as x raised to power y. So return true. Have you checked our iDeserve web portal at www.ideserve.co.in? We are uploading new topics every day. Please check it out and leave us your feedback. Please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our iDeserve channel. Like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you.